It's Grizzly Bogart here with a uh, product review. So far, a bunch of reprints out this season. I recommend not holding on to any card over $20 at the moment because there are going to be a lot of reprints. Uh, Legendary Collection 2 was not expected and it hit some of us pretty hard. But first, I'll go over um, International Force Special Edition. The two promos have been announced, making this set fairly, fairly good. Absolute Zero and Spore. First off, I want that fucking Super Spore. I have a common one, it's ugly in my deck. And everything, like, imagine everyone else hollowing out their deck, and all they have is a common fucking Spore. Shit on the common Spore. Alright, and Absolute Zero, um, really good reprint, finally gets one. It makes up for Gold Series being really bad, but... Next we have Legendary Collection 2, which is amazing. The best set ever. Uh, first it will come with three, Uriah, Haman, and Raviel. Then it continues coming with three of the YCS prize cards, guaranteed. This is a lot more, this is about as much as Legendary Collection 1. It came with six cards guaranteed. These six cards are actually decent. And there's more. It comes with seven more ultra rare cards. Cyber Larva, Lion Alligator, Spawn Alligator, Elemental Hero, Great Tornado, Parallel World Fusion, uh, Dragonic Tactics, and Court of Justice. And it gets better. This pack is amazing because it comes with five packs, but they're called Legendary Collection 2 Mega Packs. It's not any series yet. Well, it's a 266 card set, and it comes with a bunch of amazing reprints. The first, it's e uh, almost elements of almost every single hero card. Uh, elemental heroes, destiny heroes, evil heroes. I'm gonna go down a bullet list. Then there's uh, common versions, common reprints of Thunder King Ryo, JD, Gateway of the Six, Elemental Hero Stratos, Mizuki, DD Survivor. Now they're gonna be shiny foil versions of uh, cards as ultras or supers of Instant Fusion, Future Fusion, Hydrogeddon, Macrocosmos, Dimensional Prison, and DD Crow. Then there'll be secret rares of Necro Gardener, Super Polymerization, Destiny Draw, Phantom of Chaos, Dimensional Fissure, Banisher of Radiance, and more. Then there are going to be some foil versions of GBs here, so that's going to look pretty shiny. Uh, foil versions of Bestiari, Darius, Equest, Herclinos, Haplamus, Laquari, Mermillo, Sekitor, uh, Test Tiger, and War Chariot. And uh, the new GB monster, Glare Beast Lanista, will be in the set as well. And foil versions of top end light sword monsters like Jane, Lumina, and Arcus. Five rare variant art cards like Elemental Heroes, Avion, Bristinatrix, Sparkman, Cyber Dragon, and Cyber End. We'll all have cool alternate art shit. And Chaz Princeton has uh, apparently Chaz Princeton has Dark End and Light End Dragon. So both of those will be in here. And then finally for my Venom deck, Venomanaga will be reprinted in this. Uh, Dark Lord Desire will come up in this. Uh, the original Six Samurai. Plus, Grandmaster Grey Shogun will be in here. And Gallus the Star Beast and Darkness Destroyer will be in here. And all cards reprinted. Uh, we'll have the updated text, which is retarded, by the way. But, um, so no matter what, you're gonna get uh, Uriah, Haman, Raviel, Dark Lord Asmodeus, Dark Lord Superbia, Dark Lord Ida Array, Cyber Larva, Lion Alligator, Spawn Alligator, Ray Tornado, Parallel World Fusion, Dragonic Tactics, Court of Justice. And each pack comes with, so and then in the packs you'll get five more secret rares, five more ultra rares, five more super rares, five more rare cards, and 25 more commons. Which are all very good secrets, ultras, supers, rares, and commons. Really want that Thunder King now. Um, but this pack is set to release on October 4th, 2011. It'll be a $30 thing, which is not bad for all the reprints. And special edition will be out next month, the twenty or two months from now. Uh, let me just figure out real fast. September twentieth, two thousand eleven. So these are very highly anticipated things now, especially the Legendary Collection two, because of how good they are, and there's no question in it. I'm gonna be asking them to put this video on many channel or um. Wait, what am I trying to say? Never mind. Well, um. Uh, I'd like to say thanks for all the views on my Yugi vs. Yusei recording. I was in front row. I have about 700 views on it yet, considering the view counter is broken. That's okay. We have 303 subs, if you guys can't tell. And uh, thanks a lot for all your support. I really love you guys. Um, I don't. I really want to get partnered, but um, that's not happening yet. 700 more subs, basically. 
I signed up for partnership, so probably right about when I hit a thousand subs, they'll partner me. But, uh, 700 freaking views on this thing. And it hasn't updated yet, I don't think. But, um, yeah, 16 of you favored this video, and someone pojo someone had this on Pojo. Oh. I didn't know you guys pojoed me. Uh-huh. Okay, well, somehow I had a freaking link on here. Uh, so did someone refer me? That is freaking awesome. Someone fucking had me on Pojo. Linked me on Pojo. Except for the pe I'm sorry about the part two, by the way. Um, that was sad. Uh, my, comp my camera doesn't record over nine minutes and 50 seconds, so I didn't know it stopped recording. But thanks for all you guys who record, um, suggest me on YouTube and whatnot. I uh, really love the subscribers. I have one troll slash flamer, and they just dislike every one of my vids. Freaking annoying as shit. And, yeah, they probably will dislike this one, too. Well, I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, that's pretty much it. Having a couple videos up. Sorry I've been la being lazy after that. Just still tired and crap. But thanks for watching. Peace out, YouTube.